the physical layer of adsl technology is again very important to be understood because it deals with the frequencies and the modulation types which are used in adsl the frequencies are usually leased out to different uh, service providers and uh, the choice of the frequency is uh, a very strong determining factor uh, in overall efficiency and uh, utilization of a certain technology so adsl uh, frequency bands uh, are used for uh, providing internet connectivity to a broad range of users that's why it is important to understand this um the physical layer first of all needs to be understood in conjunction with voice the telephone lines primarily are meant for voice uh, the voice is usually uh, band limited to 300 hertz to 3.4 to 3.5 3.6 kilohertz so that actually gives us uh, some room because in the earlier module we said that the frequency band for voice is limited to the upper boundary of 4 kilohertz so the frequency range uh, between 3.4 to 4 kilohertz serves as the guard band and this is uh, according to the uh, modem specifications specifically v.90 um adsl to provide internet connectivity is uh, two way and uh, it is a full duplex uh, technology it means that uh, um uh, both the uplink and downlink uh, transmissions can take place at the same time um the uh, variants of uh, this uh, duplex uh, modes of communication can be uh, the frequency division duplex uh, time division duplex and the echo cancellation duplex uh, but uh, uh, frequency division duplex is the one most widely used the adsl spectrum is divided into a uh, certain ranges both for uplink and downlink um, broadly speaking the overall range uh, for the initial versions of adsl because adsl has also grown and uh, some newer spectrums have been assigned for adsl so we'll talk about the initial versions or variants of adsl the, the spectrum actually was from 25 kilohertz to 1104 kilohertz or 25 kilohertz to 1.104 megahertz the uh, lower band that is from 25 kilohertz to 138 kilohertz is meant for upstream now if you may have already noticed uh, this choice of assignment uh, the lower frequencies being assigned to upstream essentially implies that uh, first the lower frequency band has a uh, lower capability to carry or modulate uh, information because uh, you can uh, carry more information on on a, on a, on a higher spectrum um because you you'd have more um um you you'd have more frequency assignments possible in the higher frequency band so on the higher side uh, we have 138 to uh, 1104 kilohertz band that is for the downstream now it is up to every vendor to have appropriate hardware that uh, allows these frequency bands both for upstream and downstream to be used used more uh, uh, eff effectively uh, regarding the uh, modulation or the line line coding uh, uh, the initial uh, mechanism or the initial modulation mechanism was the carrierless amplitude phase modulation both the amplitude and the phase are modulated uh, with, and the carrier was not was not transmitted so uh, this was initial uh, but uh, these days uh, as per the uh, ansi as well as the itut recommendations a uh, discrete multitone is used if you look at the overall spectrum let's appreciate it we have uh, the telephone call the pstn frequency band limited to 4 kilohertz then we have gap a very broad around 21 kilohertz band gap so that there is no interference whatsoever between the adsl frequencies and the voice signals so we have from 25 to 138 we've got upstream and then we have from 
138 to uh, 1104 kilohertz we have downstream although it's already shown to you here but it would be appropriate to talk about it at a later stage that the frequency band actually has been extended in fact it's been doubled from 1104 to uh, 2208 so uh, naturally if we keep the modulation scheme same as discrete multitone we are expecting double bandwidth or double data rate for the ADSL2 and ADSL2 plus downstream transmissions. So this carrier less frequency uh, amplitude phase modulation um, uh, actually divides the spectrum into three bands. Again, for voice, uh, the lower uh, lowest one, then for upstream from 25 to 160 kilohertz, and then it gives a band gap between the upstream and the downstream, and from 240 kilohertz to 1.5 megahertz is the downstream. The discrete multi-tone actually as the name suggests is multi-tone. It means so many sub-carriers. We don't call them carriers, we call them sub-carriers. Now discrete multi-tone modulation was adopted by ITUT uh, as a standard uh, in their uh, uh, variants 991.1 which is ADSL and 992.1 which is uh, um, uh, uh, g uh, g dot light uh, so basically what happens is that uh, there are around 256 uh, uh, sub carriers um, each with a width of uh, 4 kilohertz uh, so these carriers are allocated uh, to 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 bit stream so if uh, a user transmits a certain bit stream for instance we say that uh, uh, um, let's say user has 256 bits to be transmitted. So each bit is now carried on individual uh, subcarrier. Uh, this is for, for, for an example sake. Otherwise, of these 256 uh, subcarriers, 32 are allocated for, uh, uh, for the uh, upstream and the remainder, uh, which is around the 234, um, uh, 224 uh, subcarriers are allocated for the downstream. Uh, the, the, these discrete multitone carriers are modulated according to QAM, the quadrature amplitude uh, modulation. Uh, if, you, if you recall the, uh, the I and Q, uh, the in-phase and quadrature components uh, were used in QAM. Um, so uh, then we have uh, the variants of uh, uh, ADSL, um, as the name suggests. Uh, ADSL2 is a, is a successor. Uh, uh, then we have uh, uh, 992.4, 992.3 is the successor of ADSL as such and the its splitter less version where the splitter is altogether obviated is done away with is the 992.4 um, and then we have the um, uh, ADSL2 plus uh, that, that we just uh, saw when we looked at the, the overall spectrum. The bandwidth has been extended from 1.1 to 2.2 megahertz. Let's quickly look at the ADSL standards and uh, their bit rates. Let's just quickly recap. ADSL, as the name suggests, it provides uh, 8 megabits per second in the downstream, 1 megabits per second in the upstream. So uh, naturally, there is a 1 to 8 ratio as we looked at the carrier assignment as well. Then we have uh, the discrete multitone that is provides up to 12 megabits per second in downstream and uh, 1.3 megabits per second in the upstream. If you look at something interesting, we'll observe that uh, from uh, ADSL to ADSL2+, plus, we are getting 24 megabits per second in downstream, which is quite a lot. If you're doing internet surfing along with the uh, Voice over IP app running and an IP TV running also. We can offer interesting uh, services and we can in fact offer digital channels as well in such rate. Uh, the upstream is not much uh, significantly growing. You see that it is 1 megabits per second in the upstream for ADSL, whereas it is 3.3 megabits per second for ADSL 2 plus. Uh, so because not much changes on the upstream except for certain interactive applications like voiceover IP and, for instance, Skype-like apps. 
so on the right most side we see the corresponding itu assigned codes for these different standards 